morning and you're in chapel. If you want to cozy up to the shoulder of your significant other, well, too bad. Northwestern will begin implementing a new rule regarding end lounge couples. Starting next year, all end lounge couples will need to place a Bible between each other in order to provide a safe, comfortable environment where Jesus is in the middle. You know, I know end lounges are a community space where it's supposed to be comfortable for everyone to walk in and out, but Stephen and I just like snuggling, and I don't think that this should be here. I know the Bible is holy and all, but it's not meant to be between us. It definitely brings a whole new meaning to Jesus being at the center of our relationship. My recommendation, get the pocket Bible. <laughs> the new dorms going into the country and in suites. Students have been wondering about one thing. What's going to happen with the pool? That's right. We all want to know what's going on with the new pool. And a few students were able to guess the solution. Wetsuits. We have to rent wetsuits. Wet Full wetsuits. We have purchased about uh, 30 wetsuits. So we're concerned about, um, you know, modesty issues and just what that could lead to. So we want to make sure um, students are covered head to toe. Modesty isn't the school's only concern though. Safety is also high on their list. We'll use some of the, the floaties from the, from the Child Development Center. It looks like we have some more snow in the forecast, right Kent? Oh, it wouldn't be Minnesota without snow, right? As you can tell, it's going to be snowing today with a high of about 40 degrees and then Saturday is supposed to be partly cloudy with 46. So let's hope the snow melts. But the crazy thing that's happening Sunday, the rapture is happening. Yep, Jesus is coming back. But unfortunately, we did get an anonymous tip that this is what it's going to look like on Monday. Sorry, Bethel, but you had your chance. Back over to you, Andrew. Thank you. Lent is a time where many Christians decide to give up something near and dear to their hearts. Some give up chocolate and others give up watching the season finale of The Bachelor. There is only one thing students want to hold on to more than sweets and TV shows. In the season of Lent, professors have actually now promised students that they can give up homework for Lent. Don't believe me? I talked to Dr. Curitan himself. So the faculty asked me if it was okay if we could do away with homework for Lent. And I said, well, it's your call. It's your, it's your class. And so the faculty went ahead and voted that there will be no homework during Lent. I also talked with Dr. Aaron to get his thoughts on giving up homework for Lent. Well, I've put a lot of thought into this and uh, a lot of research. And uh, I think there is solid biblical basis for that idea. Since, as we all know, uh, Lent is the past tense of Lend. And when you lend somebody, they owe you what you lent them. And so faculty giving homework is kind of like uh, the students owing them something. So since Paul says, owe no man anything, it seems uh, right that we should uh, forgive those assignments. And I also figure uh, during Lent, I'm going to give up teaching. So it's only right that uh, I let students give up homework. For Eagle 7 News, I'm Ken Svensson. Northwestern is going to be having its first annual Boxorama, which means that Deans Jared Cornelius and Donette Scott will be fighting in a boxing match to win a reserved parking space for the year. They go way back, but when a boxing match will determine whether they win prime parking, are they friends or foes? Well, whatever. Well, I first uh, met Donette about, I think it was six years ago. We've known each other probably seven or eight years now. Enough time to learn each other's weaknesses. You know, I think that I can just take him down behind the knees because he's just weak in the knees and so I just gotta, I gotta hit him there. She's kind of a head case. Donette is really attached to trees. So every now and again you may see here just hugging a tree. Yeah, I hug trees. You got a problem with that? Yeah, even with different tactics, they still have the same goal. I gotta be honest with you, the thought of having to walk more than I need to is not very appealing to me. I can't even tell you how bad I want this parking space. I mean, who wants to have to walk all the way across campus? And, and also knowing that she will have to walk further. But, you know, on the other hand, I am a tree hugger, so I probably should want to walk, right? Though Donette is all in for the prize, Jared's six-year-old son brought up a good question. He said, uh, Dad, I didn't think we were supposed to fight girls. Um, and I said, uh, you know, that's a really good point, um, but there are some times in life where exceptions need to be made. My mom, she just wanted me to be careful. 
but Jared remains confident. I'm not really too concerned. I, I feel like it should be a pretty pretty easy fight. Maybe it'll be called the uh, Donette Scott Memorial Boxerama. I'm just in it for the love of the game. I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, you probably want to cheer for who's going to win. Um, so I'll, I'll let them come to their own conclusions uh, about that. Cloakers are threatened with extinction. Northwestern's new student government is looking to destroy the group in favor of a more uniformed body. Contrary to popular belief, cloakerism is a rare phenomenon. I've been a cloaker my entire life. One does not become a cloaker, one is born a cloaker. In order to assist with campus expansion, student government is working hard to make campus more appealing to prospective students. They believe they will need to eliminate their biggest threat. But student government does not know what they're up against. I will resist the efforts that they make to eliminate us. I will continue to wear my cloak proudly, although I may not be seen next fall, as I will be in Russia. And if they try to keep me from wearing my cloak, I may have contacts. Current students who have encountered the cloaked people have expressed their concern, primarily for being out alone. Well, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I feel like I'm being followed, um, and I turn around and no one's there, so they're probably hiding in the shadows behind me. You know, sometimes I feel like cloakers, that they kidnap kids and that they hide them under their cloaks so that they can get away with them. Yeah, it'll be like I'm just walking down the sidewalk and look up and, oh, there's a cloaker in the tree. Perching is probably the best word to uh, put it. Um, just kind of watching out over everybody. Contrary to popular belief, we do not tame squirrels. Um, we do try and tame students. I, I, I think it was originating from the drain, but he walked out and climbed the, atop the mountain of snow and then just looked off into the distance and I don't know what he was doing or where he came from, but it was kind of frightening and it kind of just ran along and went back into Maha to hide away. I don't even think they have faces. Like, honestly, who knows what's in there? The black hole of doom. Do you know what the focus box says? Nothing! <laughs> I heard a story once that they made a circle around the eagle and started um, doing like a sacrifice to the eagle. I am first a Christian, I am second a cloaker. And it gets worse. I'm pretty sure I saw them kill someone. I, I didn't do, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't run and I couldn't call the police. They, they scare me so much. I'm pretty sure that I saw them throw the body in the, the lake. I mean, they talked about burning us at the stake a little while ago, but I think that's so 16th century. Students have taken precautions when it comes to protecting themselves and their stuff. Well, occasionally water balloons have come from Moyer every once in a while when I've been walking back to my dorm. But that doesn't hurt too bad. The cloakers really only have one thing to say to government forces who threaten their existence. In Soviet Northwestern, when you try to get rid of cloaker, cloaker gets rid of you. I'm Josette Elif. Those are all the lies we have for you this week. Be sure to check us out online and... That's all, folks.